Hello and good afternoon friends. Welcome once again to the CEC Edisit live lecture. Dear friends, as you know that from time to time we try to bring different topics for you and sometimes we try uh, to make you understand the different topics and for this we try to conduct sessions in such a manner that uh, it takes uh, a very good uh, route for you because uh, we time to time cater to your needs and on your request we try to conduct a lecture in a revision format. Dear friends, as you know that uh, since very long we have been uh, talking on the subject called the chemistry and uh, uh, under chemistry this subject uh, we have been talking on um, a very important series and uh, we have been talking a lot on chemical reactivity and uh, mechanisms as uh, you have requested us uh, to take another session on carboxylic acids as uh, most of the students and many of the students have liked this particular lecture on carboxylic acids and they want to gain more information on uh, this particular topic that is carboxylic like I said today again we are going to carry out a revision part for you and we are going to understand more about the carboxylic acids that's why we always say to you that keep mailing us so that uh, we are able to get your feedbacks so dear friends for this we have again with us in our studios Dr. Vandana she is assistant professor in department of chemistry Dayal Singh College University of Delhi so dear friends so first of all I would like to welcome our guest Dr. Vandana Dr. Vandana welcome to the Edisit lecture and many many congratulations to you as the students uh, all through uh, uh, they are requesting to conduct more sessions on uh, carboxylic acids though we have learnt lot on carboxylic acids but because this is a series based I mean this is a revision based lecture so we want to understand more through you what are carboxylic acids. Uh, first of all thank you so much ma'am uh, good evening viewers uh, as ma'am said that we want to uh, revise this topic. Before starting the carboxylic acid, I would like to tell you what are the aldehydes and ketones. As you are aware that in aldehydes and ketone, both uh, in both compounds there are carbonyl group. What is carbonyl group? Carbon double bond oxygen means there is a sigma bond and there is a pi bond. As we are aware of it that aldehydes and ketones both give nucleophilic addition reaction. Uh, nucleophile simply adds to the carbonyl carbon because of electromeric effect and uh, now we come to the next carboxylic acid. You are aware of the what is carboxylic acid? In carboxylic acid R group may be alkyl, may be aryl, may be alkaline any group and carbonyl group again they are attached to the hydroxyl group with sigma bond. So, there are carbonyl group as well as hydroxyl group. So, we can say it is carboxyl group and it is uh, has unique property from the those of aldehydes and ketones because hydroxyl group is present and this is due to the uh, resonance interaction between pi electrons on the oxygen atom uh, of the hydroxyl group and these four electrons are delocalized over the two oxygen atoms and carbonyl group. We have uh, discussed the uh, um, uh, resonance hybrid structure of uh, carboxylic group and uh, carboxylic group may be aliphatic or aromatic depending upon the carboxylic group attached to the uh, aliphatic group or an archaic group. Carboxylic group can be classified mono or di or tri depending upon the carboxylic group attached to the uh, group. And dicarboxylic acid, tricarboxylic acid contain 2 and 3 carboxylic group respectively we can say. So, we have discussed different structures uh, of carboxylic acid like propionic acid, cyclohexane, dicarboxylic acid, benzoic acid, it is an aromatic carboxylic acid, succinic acid like crotonic acid, lactic acid and pyruvic acid. Then we have discussed about the saturated aliphatic monocarboxylic acid. What are these? In which a carboxylic group attached to an alkyl group or an hydrogen atom. Its molecular formula was CnH2n and O2 and can be shows as CnH2n plus 1 and carboxylic group COOH. Uh, then we have discussed about the nomenclature of carboxylic acid. 
and we can uh, uh, nomenclature the uh, carboxylic acid by uh, replacing the E uh, and uh, by the suffix oic acid. Uh, unbranched carboxylic acid are simply named as alkanoic acid and the common names are derived from Greek or Latin names or the natural sources from which the acid were originally isolated. So, these carboxylic uh, acids ending at uh, ic acid. We have discussed so many examples like methanoic acid, ethanoic acid, like propanoic acid, butanoic acid, pentanoic acid, hexanoic acid, number of carboxylic unbranched acid we have uh, discussed uh, and we have also discussed the common name and the natural sources from they have discovered like methanoic acid have discovered from formic acid, natural sources ants, ethanoic acid we have discussed from vinegar, propanoic from fat, betanoic from butter, pentanoic from valerian roots and that is all. And structure of carboxylic acid, uh, you can say the carbon atom and the two oxygen atom in carboxylic group all were uh, sp2 hybridized and the carboxylic carbon atom forms two bonds with the two oxygen atoms by sp2, sp2 linear overlapping. And then we have discussed about the geometry of some uh, formic acid and acetic acid, where we have also uh, discussed about the isomers of carboxylic acid, like when we have discussed about the molecular formula C 2 H 4 O 2, there were total 6 uh, um, isomers, which were acetic acid, methyl formate, 2 hydroxy ethanol and other 3 which were unstable. And for molecular formula C 3 H 6 O 2, we have uh, uh, 4 isomers, acyclic isomers. We have also discussed about the molecular formula C 3 H 6 O 2 isomers and uh, isomers for C 4 H 2 O 2 and for molecular formula C 5 H 10 and O 2 also. Then we have discussed about the preparation of carboxylic acid. First of all, we have discussed by the primary alcohols and aldehydes and we can achieve uh, carboxylic acid from this by oxidation simply with potassium dichromate in with dilute sulfuric acid or potassium permanganate in acidic or alkaline medium and primary alcohols are oxidized first to aldehydes and then to carboxylic acid. We have taken number of examples like propane one all with potassium dichromate first converted to propanol and then converted to propanoic acid. Another example we have taken uh, furan 2 carbaldehyde which were converted to furoic acid or we can also say furan 2 carboxylic acid. We have also oxidized alcohol to acid by KMnO4 uh, and in the laboratory aldehydes can be conventionally oxidized to carboxylic acid with silver oxide in ammonical solution. It is also known as Tollens reagent. Number of examples we have discussed like trans aldehyde, like cyclohex 3 in carbaldehyde and the second preparation we were discussed by oxidation of methyl ketones by haloform reaction. Methyl ketones when react with halogen in dilute NaOH yield sodium salt of carboxylic acid and one important thing was there that uh, the carboxylic acid we uh, produce here containing one less carbon than the starting uh, ketones. Haloform is formed as the crow product, hence the name reaction haloform was there. Then third uh, preparation we have discussed oxidation of alkenes simply with potassium permanganate and with the KOH like alkaline potassium permanganate which gives carboxylate salt and which on acidification gives carboxylic acid. Number of example we have taken like butatoin when oxidized uh, with KMnO4 give ethanoic acid, 3 methyl butuanine will give 2 methyl propanoic acid, stilbene will give benzoic acid and ox ozonolysis of alkene also give uh, carboxylic acid like when cis or trans uh, will uh, taken you will get 2 molecule of acetic acid. The another preparation for carboxylic acid from nitriles. Nitriles first of all hydrolyzed to corresponding uh, carboxylic acid by boiling with either dilute mineral acid, you know what are the mineral acid, the acid which is present in the laboratory like HCl, like H2O4, like HNO3 and uh, the initial product was an amide and uh, that was further hydrolyzed to carboxylic acid. 
and nitriles can be prepared conveniently by primary alkyl by SN2 reaction, substitution nucleophilic bimolecular reaction with KCN or NaCN. And then the next preparation was we have taken carbonation of Grignard reagent. What are Grignard reagent? R M G X. The reaction of Grignard reagent with carbon dioxide is often the choice for preparing a carboxylic acid. We have taken the example of methyl magnesium iodide which will give you uh, acetic acid and bromobenzene was converted to benzoic acid. We have taken other, another examples also because Grignard synthesis provides an excellent method for converting alkyl halide to carboxylic acid. Uh, in this preparation one more carbon atom chain was present in starting alkyl halide thus it is useful to extend a carbon chain by one carbon atom. This method was also useful for the nitrile hydrolysis because it is not very sensitive to steric hindrance. It works, it was work with uh, primary, secondary or tertiary alkyl, allyl, benzyl, vinyl and aryl halides. The Grignard reagents such as containing the group OH, COH, SO3H, NH2, SH, C triple bond, CH and CO uh, do not, con uh, should not contain these group. Then uh, next preparation we have taken the hydrolysis of trihalides. Hydrolysis of trihalides with aqueous alkali yields carboxylate salt first then this carboxylic acid uh, obtained by treatment with dilute mineral acid with the salt of these uh, corresponding carboxylate like chloroform first of all will give you potassium formate and toluene first of all will give you benzo trichloro chloride potassium benzoate then benzoic acid. Next preparation was coach reaction. What was coach reaction? Alkene are heated with carbon monoxide and steam under pressure in the presence of phosphoric acid. The addition of hydrogen atom and a carboxylic group across the double bond was according to the Markovnikov rule. Next preparation was the reaction of sodium alkoxide with carbon monoxide. Sodium alkoxide when heated with carbon monoxide under pressure for carboxylate salt acidification of the later gives carboxylic acid. Like example is sodium methoxide when react with carbon monoxide first of all will give you sodium acetate and on acidification it will give you acetic acid. Next preparation was the hydrolysis of ester. You know what are ester? R C O O R or R dash. The group may be same, the group may be different. Esters of carboxylic acid on heating with dilute aqueous acid or alkali uh, will yield carboxylic acid and acid catalyzed hydrolysis is slow and reversible does not proceed to completion. Alkali promoted hydrolysis is almost irreversible faster and gives almost quantitative yield of product. For this reason we have taken the alkali promoted hydrolysis and other, other example we have taken ethyl proponate uh, which will give you propanoic acid, methyl benzoate which will give you benzoic acid. And uh, this method was of little preparative value because esters are generally obtained from carboxylic acid themselves. However, it was useful for isolation of carboxylic acid which occur in nature in the form of fats and oils. Since soaps are prepared by alkaline hydrolysis of fats, alkaline hydrolysis of esters is called saponification. Next preparation we have discussed malonic ester synthesis. In this method first of all it diethyl malonate was treated as first with the sodium ethoxide to form this disodium malonate and then it reacts with primary alkyl halide by SN2 mechanism to form diethyl alpha alkyl malonates. The subsequent hydrolysis of this will give you alpha alkyl malonic ester acid which decarboxylate at 150 to 200 degree Celsius to give bono carboxylic acid. Next uh, we have taken the oxidation of alkyl benzene. We can also say the oxidation of side chain. Side chain means like we have taken the example of toluene. In benzene ring CH3 uh, it will be treated as side chain uh, uh, pro, uh, in, uh, reactant. Aromatic acids can be obtained by the side chain oxidation of alkyl benzene. How will it uh, uh, achieved by the oxidizing agent? For example, alkaline potassium permanganate or chromic acid. The alkyl benzene must possesses at least one hydrogen at the benzylic position. 
So, it is the condition for the oxidation of alkyl benzyme. We have taken so many examples like toluene when oxidize will give you first of all potassium benzoate then benzoic acid. Another example we have taken propyl benzene which will first give you benzoic acid and with acetic acid. Para nitro toluene will give you para nitro benzoic acid. So, in these reaction we can see that side chain CH 3 group will convert it to COOH group with the help of potassium permanganate. Then we have discussed about the physical properties of carboxylic acid. Formic acid, acetic acid, propanoic acids are colorless pungent smelling liquid. Alkanoid acid containing 4 to 9 carbon atoms are colorless oily liquid having unpleasant smell. The acids containing 10 or more carbon atoms are waxy solids. They are almost odorless because of their uh, low volatility. Then we have discussed about the boiling point. Any uh, boiling points of any compound depends upon the hydrogen bonding. More will be the hydrogen bonding and the affinity of hydrogen bonding will decide the boiling point of the compounds. Like we have considered uh, the boiling point of uh, uh, higher than those of hydrocarbons, alkyl halides, alcohols, ethers, aldehyde, ketones, amines and esters. This is because carboxylic acid form strong intermolecular hydrogen bonds. Carboxylic acid shows higher boiling point. The reason is intermolecular hydrogen bonds stronger than those in alcohol as well as in amines. Carboxylic acid form stronger hydrogen bonds than alcohols because OH, jo O and OH bond are more strongly polarized than those in alcohols because the excision atom of carbon group with which they form hydrogen bond is a better electron donor and more electronegative than the oxygen atom of alcohol. So, carboxylic acid shows higher boiling point comparatively to alcohols and amines because of the carbonyl group and because of the better electron donor. So, we have already learned that hydrogen bonds in alcohols are stronger than in amines. In solid and liquids a pair of carboxylic acid are held together as a cyclic dimer. They are no more individual having now they are having in the form of cyclic dimer by two hydrogen bond. The dimeric structure we have shown in, in the figure last time and even uh, the boiling point of straight chain alkanoic acid gradually increases with increase in the molecular mass. Next point was melting point. This have a higher melting point than other compo compounds of same molecular mass like the melting point of straight chain alkanoic acid do not increase in regular manner. Why it is so? Because the melting point changes in manner, the melting point of an acid with an even number of carbon atom is high, was higher than those of succeeding homologous odd number. Thus, the melting point show alteration from one number to the next. This was due to the closer packing of even carbon acid molecules in the crystal lattice compared to that one of the odd carbon uh, acid molecules. Understood? So, it happens because in even carbon acid molecules, the terminal methyl group and the carboxylic group are were situated on opposite side in a zigzag manner. And this arrangement permits the molecules to fit together more closely in the crystal lattice. When they uh, uh, fit more closely, then melting point will be higher and uh, interaction will be higher. So, we have discussed about the uh, even carbon acid molecules and odd carbon acid molecules. Next point we have discussed for physical uh, uh, qualities was uh, solubility. The first for alkanoic acid that is formic acid, acetic acid, propanoic acid, butyric acid were completely miscible with water in all proportions. The solubility of carboxylic acid in water is due to the intermolecular hydrogen bonding with water. As the chain length increases, the solubility of carboxylic acid in water decreases because increase in hydrophobic repulsion of the non-polar hydrocarbon part of the molecule. Carboxylic acid are also soluble in organic solvents. You know what are the organic solvents like alcohol, like ether, benzene, chloroform and carbon tetrachloride. Then what was the reason for the acidity of carboxylic acid? The acidity of carboxylic acid can be explained due to the greater 
रेजोनेंस स्टेबलाइजेशन ऑफ द कार्बोक्सिलेट आयन यू नो कार्बोक्सिलिक एसिड हैज कंजुगेट बेस और वी कैन से कार्बोक्सिलेट आयन एज कंपेयर टू दैट ऑफ द अन आयनाइज कार्बोक्सिलिक एसिड मॉलिक्यूल सो द रेजोनेंस इन कार्बोक्सिलेट आयन इन्वॉल्व टू इक्वलेंट रेजोनेटिंग स्ट्रक्चर विच कंट्रीब्यूट टू रेजोनेंस इक्वली दैट वॉज द रिजल्ट द चार्ज डेंसिटी ऑन ऑक्सीजन इज रिड्यूस एफिशेंटली एंड द कार्बोक्सिलेट आयन इज हाईली स्टेबलाइज सो गेन इन स्टेबिलिटी इन पासिंग टू ए कार्बोक्सिलेट आयन प्रमोट्स द आयोनाइजेशन ऑफ कार्बोक्सिलिक एसिड नाउ कंपेरिजन ऑफ एसिडिटी ऑफ एल्कोहल्स एंड कार्बोक्सिलिक एसिड कार्बोक्सिलिक एसिड आर मच मोर एसिडिक दैन एल्कोहल लाइक वी कैन से एसिडिक एसिड इज टेन की पावर इलेवन टाइम्स मोर एसिडिक दैन इथेनॉल बिकॉज ऑफ एल्कोक्साइड आयन वट इज एल्कोक्साइड आयन कंजुगेट बेसिस ऑफ एल्कोहल्स आर लेस स्टेबल दैन द कार्बोक्सिलेट आयन कार्बोक्सिलेट आयन यू नो फ्रॉम वेयर इट कम्स इट कम्स फ्रॉम द कंजुगेट बेसिस ऑफ कार्बोक्सिलिक एसिड The negative charge in alkoxide ion, in contrast to carboxylate ion, is was localized on the single oxygen atom because the alkoxide ion cannot exhibit resonance. This is why alkoxide ions are less stable than the carboxylate ions. Thus, an aqueous solution of an alcohol is neutral to litmus, while that of a carboxylic acid changes a blue litmus paper red. So we can uh, take this. Uh, To for the uh, test differentiation between alcohols and carboxylic acid, because ethanol has ethoxide ion and having no resonance, while acetic acid has acetate ion will exist in resonance. Hence, we can say carboxylate ion are resonance stabilized. Then we have compared the acidities of phenol and carboxylic acid. Phenol is acidic because resonance stabilization of phenoxide ion. what is phenoxide ion it it is the conjugate base of phenol and is greater than that of phenol uh, the resonance in phenol involves three charge separating resonating structure of low stability for this reason phenol was low resonance stabilization and the resonance in phenoxide on the other hand involves major contribution in which negative charge is placed on the more electronegative oxygen atom so negative charge is delocalized over ortho and para position of benzene and other three contributors this combined effect result in the increased stability of phenoxide ion as compared to the undissociated phenol ion so we have discussed about the resonating structure of phenol and phenoxide ion carboxylic acid are much more acidic than phenol because the resonance stabilization of carboxylate ion than greater than that of phenoxide ion the negative charge in a carboxylate ion is delocalized over two oxygen atom of two equivalent resonance contributor hence the stabilization is high on the other hand in the phenoxide ion all the contributors are not equivalent moreover in three of the resonance contributors the negative charge was placed on the less electronegative carbon atom therefore the resonance stabilization of phenoxide ion was less than that of the carboxylate ion so we can say the order of acidity among alcohols phenols and carboxylic acids follow the order alcohols will be less acidic than phenols and phenols will be less acidic less acidic than carboxylic acids then we have discussed about the uh, effect of substituents on acidity of carboxylic acid we have taken the electron withdrawing group electron releasing group and we can say any factor any factor which stabilizes the conjugate base of carboxylic acid and what is that this is carboxylate anion any factor which stabilizes this will increase the acidity of carboxylic acid and any factor which destabilize this carboxylate ion or the conjugate base of carboxylic acid will decrease the acidity of carboxylic acid so a variation in the nature of the group r leads to change in the acidity in general we can say electron releasing group decrease the acidity while electron withdrawing group will increase the acidity if we have taken first of all the electron releasing substituent 
since hydrogen atom is chosen as the reference atom in establishing a scale of positive and negative inductive effect, it is considered neither electron releasing or neither electron withdrawing. So, in acetic acid however, the methyl group is electron releasing relative to hydrogen atom and this electron releasing inductive effect you know plus I effect intensify the negative charge on the oxygen atom of carboxylate ion and consequently destabilize this acetate ion. Because it is destabilizing the carboxylate ion of corresponding carboxylic acid, so this will decrease the acidity of uh, acetic acid. Next we have taken the uh, uh, other, other examples like formic acid, like acetic acid, like uh, propanoic acid and many more. As the plus I effect increases, the consequently acidity decreases because of plus I effect of alkyl group. When we have taken the example of benzoic acid that is C6H5COOH, it is a stronger acid than formic acid, but a weaker acid than acetic acid. Why it is so? Because the phenyl group in benzoic acid is less electron releasing than methyl group because of you know what delocalization in acetic acid since the sp2 of phenyl group is more electronegative another reason than sp3 carbon of methyl group. So, the order for acidity among formic acid, benzoic acid and acetic acid will be formic acid will be more acidic than benzoic acid and it will be more acidic than acetic acid. Then we have taken the other effect like electron withdrawing group any group which withdraws the electron sigma bonded electron will be electron withdrawing group. We have taken the number of examples like halogens like hydroxyl group like alkoxy group like amino group thiol group nitro group cyano group carbonyl group carboxylic group and many more. What will they will do? They will increase the acidity and compared to the corresponding unsubstituted acid. Why it is so? We have already uh, told that which destabilize or stabilize the carboxylate anion will rule out the acidity of acidic acid. So, uh, the reason is that they stabilize the carboxylate anion by dispersing the negative charge on the oxygen atom in the carboxylate ion. So, this is the because of minus I effect, because of minus I effect chloroacetic acid is a stronger acid than acetic acid because it stabilizes the chloroacetate ion while plus I effect of C S3 destabilize the acetate ion. Acidity increases as the electron withdrawing power of this substituent increases. Simple the order of acidity of alpha haloacetic acid parallel to that of the order of electronegativities of halogen atom. Greater the electronegativity of a halogen atom greater will be the uh, its electron withdrawing inductive effect and greater is this the stabilization of alpha haloacetate ion. So, the order of acidity among uh, fluoroacetic acid, chloroacetic acid, bromoacetic acid will be first of all fluoroacetic will be uh, more acidic than chloroacetic acid and it will be more acidic than bromoacetic acid. Then we have taken the point acidity decreases with increased distance between electron withdrawing group and carboxylic group. Like we have taken the uh, substituent uh, chloro, we have taken number of example like 2, 3 and 4 chlorobutonic acid, then the uh, acidity order uh, as electron withdrawing substances move along the side chain away from the carboxylic group its inductive effect falls off rapidly with increasing distance. So, what will happen? It stabilization of carboxylate ion decreases consequently acidity also decreases. We have taken another point like acidity increases with increase in the electron withdrawing substituent at a particular position. As the number of electron withdrawing substituent increases, the electron withdrawing power of group of a whole becomes greater than that of one such substituent and the carboxylic ion stabilization increases. We have already uh, told that uh, any factor which stabilizes the carboxylate ion will increase the acidity and any factor which destabilize the carboxylate ion substitution product of uh, carboxylic acid will decrease the acidity of carboxylic acid. The next point we, uh, we will discuss in the next coming series is the reactions of carboxylic acids. 
the reactions of carboxylic acid can be categorized into five uh, points. First of all, the reactions involving OH bond which is uh, present in carboxylic group and next is nucleophilic acyl substitution. Next reaction due to decarboxylation, you know what is decarboxylation removal of uh, carbon dioxide molecules and then reduction reaction. What is reduction reaction? Uh, addition of hydrogen we can say or removal of oxygen or reduction re reactions and then reactions involving alpha hydrogen like we will discuss about the HVZ reaction. So, aldehydes and ketone gives nucleophilic addition reaction while carboxylic acids give nucleo main reaction is what nucleophilic acyl substitution why it is so. Because in aldehydes and ketones in first of all if we are discussing about the aldehyde there are one R group then carbonyl and then hydrogen and in uh, ketone uh, two R groups they may be alkyl they may be aryl and carbonyl group. So, nucleophilic addition and substitution depends upon the addition of nucleophile to the carbonyl carbon and then it is a leaving group. If better leaving group is there then substitution will takes place. If no better leaving group is there then addition will takes place. In nucleophilic addition reaction simply nucleophile adds to the carbonyl carbon there is a 1 sigma bond, 1 pi bond electrom in what is electromeric effect? In any attack in presence of attacking reagent this pi bond will shift it towards the more electronegative atom and among carbon and oxygen, oxygen is the more electronegative than carbon. So, nucleophile simply adds to the carbonyl carbon and will give nucleophilic addition reaction. So, here the leaving group are hydrogen and alkyl or aryl group. In aldehydes hydrogen is the leaving group and in ketones R group is the leaving group. When compare these aldehydes and ketones to the carboxylic group, in carboxylic group the leaving group is OH hydroxyl group or when we are discussing about the derivatives of carboxylic acid derivatives means when this hydroxyl group replaced by another nucleophile like chloride ion, halide ion we can say acyl halide like when this hydroxyl group uh, replaced by NH2 group it will be amide group or CONH2 this will be acid amide. If we replace this group by alkoxide ion like OR group this will be your uh, ester like anhydride OCOR so this will be your anhydride. So, number of derivatives are there for carboxylic group amide, acyl halide, anhydride these are the uh, uh, derivatives of carboxylic group. So, we can differentiate among aldehydes and ketones with acid and their derivatives. Aldehydes and ketone gives nucleophilic addition reaction and carboxylic acid and their derivatives gives nucleophilic substitution reaction. Why it is so? Simply in both the uh, uh, case nucleophile will attack to the carbonyl carbon the attacking will be same because uh, uh, delta positive charge will create on carbon atom due to the electromeric effect these uh, uh, nucleophile will attack on carbonyl carbon, but the difference arises from the leaving group. Weaker the base, better the leaving group, right. So, in aldehydes and ketone, because these H hydride ion and R group are strongest bases, so they cannot leave, they are not a better leaving group. So, simply nucleophilic addition reaction will take place. While in case of carboxylic acid and their derivatives, you can see if you can see the uh, leaving group. Like in case of carboxylic group, hydroxyl ion is there for leaving group, for amide NH2 is there, for uh, acyl halide, halide ion is there. So, in these uh, uh, compounds, the leaving groups are weaker bases. So, weaker the bases, better the leaving group. So, we can differentiate that aldehydes and ketones gives nucleophilic addition reaction and acid and their derivatives will give you nucleophilic acyl substitution reaction. This is one of the major point among these two compounds. If you can remember this 
this concept that weaker the base better the leaving group. So, you can differentiate the reactions between aldehydes and ketones and carboxylic acid with their derivatives. So, in the next lecture we will discuss about the reactions of carboxylic acid. Uh, first of all, we have we will discuss about the reaction involving OH bond. This will give you the salts of carboxylic acid. Then we will discuss about the nucleophilic uh, acyl substitution in which Schmidt reaction is there. Then decarboxylation reaction in which uh, uh, carbon dioxide will release. Then reduction reaction number of reducing agent will take. And then reaction involving alpha hydrogen in which the uh, most important and the name reaction HVZ we will discuss. Thank you so much. With this note, thank you ma'am. Thank you so very much. Uh, could it be possible for you to uh, give us a brief uh, explanation about all those topics which we are going to cover in the future lectures? Okay, we uh, we will discuss as we know that we have discussed starting uh, starts from the uh, intermediates like carbocations, carb carbenes like carbenes and nitrines. And then we have discussed about the different uh, effects which included in the reactivity and the mechanism of the uh, reactions. Then we come to the uh, different uh, uh, functional group like we have discussed about the ethers, we have discussed about the uh, aldehydes, ketones, we are discussing about the carboxylic acids. In the next uh, series of this lecture, we will discuss about the derivatives of carboxylic acid, their preparations and reactions as we have already told that derivatives of carboxylic acid like acyl halide, amide, anhydride, esters and then we will, we may be different uh, discuss about the which we have left uh, about the functional group like alcohols, like uh, phenols, uh, like sulfur compounds, like nitro compounds. So, in this uh, uh, chemical reactivity and mechanism we are trying to give you the uh, detail uh, reactions and mechanisms of different functional groups. So, the, so that you may have clear ideas about the mechanism of these functional groups. Uh, as you yourself have explained in the lectures about the nucleophilic acetyl substitution reactions, uh, uh, what are the uh, basically first what is the nucleophilic when we explain to the nucleophilic students? Nucleophilic means a nucleophile is there, nucleus loving means it itself must be electron uh, rich like it can be neutral molecule and it can be neutral molecule like hydroxyl ion like thiol uh, group, SH group and it can be a charge species which, which is having a negative charge on it. So, nucleophile is very, uh, very important here because in carbonyl group because of this electromeric effect, this pi bond is temporarily shifted towards more electronegative atom which is oxygen here. So, nucleophile will attack to the carbonyl carbon. Uh, in aldehydes and ketone addition will takes place because uh, the living group are hydrogen and uh, R group which are not easily released simply because of presence of uh, uh, nucleophile. These are the strongest bases. And if you are talking about hydride ion, it is the strongest basis among all. So, it will, it will not leave at any, at any uh, how. So, and here carboxylic acid and their derivatives are uh, gives the acyl substitution reaction. Acyl group means RCO group, nucleophile acyl substitution. Nucleophiles means nuclear, uh, nucleophile, it can be charged species, it can be neutral and acyl group is RCO group and substitution means the group which is attached to this uh, acyl group will be substituted by com incoming nucleophile. This was the case with the uh, nucleophilic acyl substitution reaction. You also explained an ample of times about the reduction reactions. Uh, what are the reduction reactions? Reduction reactions can be achieved by reducing agent like lithium aluminum hydride like borane number of reducing agent are there. What is reduction reaction? Addition of hydrogen simply or we can say elimination of oxygen. So, I am also thinking about the in the next uh, series of these lecture chemical reactivity and mechanism. Uh, the oxidation and reduction reactions will involve because the mechanisms are uh, simply are not given in reactions. So, uh, I will also uh, explain in details about the oxidation reduction reaction and their mechanisms. 
Th uh, this was the case with the reduction reaction which we explained uh, earlier. Now you use the term uh, oxidation reactions. Uh, what is the difference between the reduction reactions and uh, oxidation reduction reactions? Reduction reaction is just opposite to the oxidation reaction it, as far as about the reduction reaction addition of hydrogen takes place and elimination of oxygen if we are look simply. In oxidation re uh, reactions oxidizing reagent are there like potassium dichromate, like potassium permanganate and number of oxidizing reagent are there and here oxygen is added and hydrogen is removed. So, this is the opposite reactions. Uh, 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 that means it is reactions. easier for students yes, to learn yes. the oxidation and yes. uh, reduction I reaction. I will definitely sure will discuss about the because these mechanisms are, uh, are difficult in finding books. So, I will discuss detailed mechanism of oxidation and reduction in coming series. Definitely, we would be discussing more on the oxidation uh, reduction reaction as well as many such reactions which uh, students sometimes find difficult while learning in the classrooms or while flipping the pages of the books. Ma'am, uh, could you please give some examples of OH bond reaction? Although we can predict from the uh, uh, from the name of the reaction only, but uh, are there any examples from which students could uh, understand? Uh, like, uh, if we are taking uh, CH3COOH. Then if we are adding sodium simply metal if we are adding so we will get the sodium salt of carboxylic acid. So here OH bond is breaked, OH bond is cleaved, this bond will break up. If we are taking another example like uh, it is like metal we, when we are added we will get the salt of carboxylate ion. Sim same here if we are taking acid we will also get the uh, cleavage of this OH bond and we will get the carboxylate salt. Again, if we are uh, react with the sodium carbonate and sodium bicarbonate, again we will get the salt of carboxylic acid because uh, why we taking this uh, heading reactions involving OH bond because OH cleavage, this sigma bond among O and H will cleave and carboxylate salts will produced. Definitely. I hope that all the students uh, who might uh, uh, watching us right now would be able to understand this very topic very easily because um, uh, our objective is uh, to get you aware with the topics in detail um, as ma'am uh, herself explained to you. Uh, 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 can we uh, can we discuss a little on the alpha hydrogen also, alpha hydrogen reactions? Actually, uh, what is uh, reactions, uh, what does it mean? Reactions involving alpha hydrogen. If we are taking examples of acetic acid, it is CA. H3 COOH. So, alpha hydrogen is what? The hydrogens attached to the alpha to the carbonyl group. This hydrogen will be replaced by halo at, uh, halogen atom. So, it was very famous reaction we will definitely discuss in the coming series HVZ reaction. Definitely, ma'am has explained you in detail the various uh, reactions and uh, as she herself said that in future sessions we would be discussing on more reactions, we would be studying more reactions and would be learning more and more uh, through her as this was the series based lecture. We hope that you have liked this lecture very much and dear friends, if you have any queries regarding this particular lecture or if you want to uh, have lecture on particular topics uh, uh, regarding this particular series, you can mail us at info.cc at the rate in Nick dot in. And uh, if you have any queries also, we would love to solve your queries. Next time when Dr. Vandana comes, uh, we would be solving your queries if you mail us at info.cc at the rate nick dot in. As well as if you want to access this particular lecture, you can access us uh, uh, this particular lecture with the help of YouTube as we daily upload our lectures so that it becomes easier for you to uh, study the course content uh, ample of times. Uh, with this note, uh, thank you ma'am. Thank you so thank very you much so for much. giving your precious time and we would be again uh, with this particular series and would be learning more. Thank you. Thank, thank you so you. very much. Thank you.